Hi, my name is Wayne Chapin from Zerillion, and this video is the Microsoft Phone System in Office 365 2018, which is an update from the video I did in May 2017 about the Microsoft Phone System. So what I'm going to be going over is I'm going to be talking about the sound quality, the business case, the productivity case for the Microsoft Phone System, the porting process and configurations, and pricing. So there's me, a little bit about my background, but where my background matters for the Microsoft Phone System is that Microsoft released most of the business features in the Microsoft Phone system in March 2017. So in May of 2017, we switched over to the Microsoft Phone system ourselves. And then we've moved over about 20 companies and about 400 end users into the Microsoft Phone system. So we've been a part of a lot of migrations during this time. And so that is what this video is about as an update to the video we did last year. So first of all, the sound quality is outstanding. Uh, you want to have a hardwired connection. You're going to get HD quality and it's going to be rock solid. Wireless is okay, but you're not going to get HD and it can break up like a cell phone. But sometimes you're in positions where having a wired connection is not going to be possible. You might be in a conference room, you might be at a client site, you might be at a hotel. But the fact that you can still work with your phone system, even all those places, is really great. You want a fiber internet connection, that's the best. Cable still works really well. At our office, Zerillion's office, we have a fiber internet connection. And at my home office, I have a cable internet connection and it works really well in both places. You want to configure your router or firewall, whether it's at your office or your home office, to prioritize the voice over IP traffic for the phone system. So when you connect in with the Microsoft phone system and you integrate in your company, you got to pick what your desk phone is going to look like. So our recommended approach is to use the Skype for Business app on your computer and then a Jabra Evolve headset, which can run $82 to $176, depending on what headset you get, whether you get wired or wireless, single ear or dual ear. The wireless versions for me, I keep those in my backpack um, and they're fantastic. Um, this is what they look like. They have a little boom mic that, that flips over. Works really, really nicely. Uh, and then when you just want to listen to music, they're a really great headset and they go right into my phone. Um, when I'm at my office, um, I use the Jabra Evolve wireless headset. And these are really great sounding. Again, they have the mic, it flips over, um, and they feel very light on your head. So this is when we set up phones, the Job Revolve series is our headset solution. But some people want a traditional desk phone sitting on their desktop. I certainly understand that. Um, and we set people up with the Polycom BVX 400 series phones that are configured to work with Skype for Business. So there's several different SKUs in there, but you want to make sure you get the one that's built for Skype for Business. And they're about $220 all in. In this case of the phone system, would be there's no expensive phone system hardware to purchase, maintain, or refresh. Uh, there's no expensive, lengthy phone circuit contract or hosted phone system, which usually are three-year contracts. There's no separate phone system or vendor to deal with. There's no separate phone system to learn. It's 100% integrated into the Microsoft Office 365 system, and I'm going to show in the next slide why that's important. And the price is $12 to $20 per user per month, depending on the Microsoft 365 plan that you have, and I'll be going over those uh, in another slide a little bit later. Taxes are included in the flat fee, so there's no additional taxes like 20 to 30% above the fee that you pay. Microsoft pays those inside of the flat fee. And then you can add or remove subscriptions as needed. So if one month you got 40 users and next month you got 42, next month you got 38, you can add or remove as you need to. And then you have complete voice system continuity for disaster recovery purposes. So if you are a customer who's already in the Microsoft 365 systems. So your files are up in SharePoint document libraries, your email is up in Exchange Online. Then your voice system can also be part of that where if something happens to your office, it's not available, fire, flood, prolonged power outage, it's fine. Everybody just takes their laptops, goes home, connects in just like they normally would, and your business continues to run exactly the same. The workflows you have set up for your phone system are going to work exactly the same whether you're in the office or out of the office. It's incredible. So the productivity case for the Microsoft phone system really is around the concept of presence. So that's where you can go into an app like Skype for Business or Teams and see if somebody's 
in a meeting, in a conference call, away from their computer, out of the office, but you can look in real quick and say, well, here's the people I work with, and, and are they available or not? And then make the decision how you're going to contact them. So when you add in the Microsoft phone system, you add in the capability to see if somebody's in a phone call or not, and that's really helpful. Because if you look in and you see they're in a phone call, then you think, well, okay, I know they're available. They might be on hold. Maybe if I've got a really hot piece of business I got to, 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 to tend to, maybe I'll send them an instant message and maybe they can respond to it. Um, or you know maybe they're busy and I'm just going to go ahead and send them an email. But if you didn't have that, you'd just kind of be going in blind, making a call. And maybe you might be wasting business cycles if that person's not even available. So that's where the productivity case comes in and it's really helped us. So right now I'm going to go ahead and demo the apps on my desktop and also my smartphone to show you how you work with the Microsoft phone system. So right here I've got Skype for Business and uh, I'm looking down and I see Justin's in a phone call. I see he's in a phone call. Well, now I make a determination. Do I hover over and then click on here to send him an instant message? Or do I say, you know what, he's probably pretty busy. I'm going to go ahead and send him an email. But there's other people here. I can see that they're not in a call. But I also can see that Brian's in a conference call. But the point is, having the ability to see whether somebody's in a phone call or not, again, it indicates they're available. You potentially could send them a message, um, but they're around, as opposed to just calling and not knowing one way or the other. Also, I think over here, I can click on this, and you can see also uh, it gives me an option. If I don't want to make a direct call over the Microsoft phone system, maybe I can call a cell phone. You know, it's pretty handy to have that capability. Certainly here, you have a dial pad here as well. I don't use it that much. Um, you have call histories, so you can see all your calls, missed calls, the calls that you made. And you can see your voicemails down here as well. So all of that is available to you. And also I have set this, have this set for simultaneous ring. So when a call comes in and rings my Microsoft phone number, it also rings my, my cell phone number as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and show Teams. So if we were to set anybody up right now, uh, in August 2018, it's going to be with Skype for Business, the desktop app, that's for sure. But Microsoft's baby for productivity, uh, where they're going with everything, is in Teams. So um, their intention is to get Teams completely on par with the Skype for Business desktop app. So they've come a long way with that, and they're getting pretty close. And so when that happens, because we use Teams so heavily at Zerillion, we're going to move over our, the Microsoft phone system we use. It's going to be directly connected into Teams, and that's how we're going to be engaging with it. Uh, you know, here, if you want to dial a number, there's a dial pad. Here's the call history. Here's contacts, voicemails. And also, when I click on contacts, you can see I can hover over. I could call. Um, I could also chat with somebody as well. Now I'm also going to show you what the apps look like on smartphone. So I have my Android phone. So what I normally do is I click on the contacts on the side, and then I can see every I can see the status of everybody that I'm working with. And then from there I can make a determination. If I'm trying to reach somebody, I can see if they're available, not available, in a phone call, and then just contact them that way. I find it a lot easier to just go into Skype for business, see somebody's status, and if they're available, just launch into the call right there. I prefer that over going to my contacts and then from there, you know, making a call to the, their own cell phone number, their work number, you know, that's that sort of thing. Um, this is greatly simplified when you're in Skype for business. But there's the dial pad, you know, there's my voicemails. And if I want to, um, I can go in further <clears throat> and I can search for individual contacts here in my Outlook contacts as well. Now I'm going to show Teams. So um, Teams, you know, there's the history of my calls. There's voicemail. If I want to make a call, I could just type in somebody's name right here. K A Y. There she is. And I, from there, I can determine if I want to launch into a call or a video call. And the same thing. If I wanted to use the dial pad, I could do that as well. And most, I really rarely use the dial pad in general. So if you do need to dial a number and you have a number somewhere else uh, in a web browser uh, or Word document, whatever, you can just copy the phone number, paste it right here, and then just dial. That's what I typically do. One other thing that I'm going to show you is using Outlook in contact. So I'm going to bring up Bob Smith. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click More. 
click call, and then I can choose to call which either one of these phone numbers that I want. And that's just fully integrated. So once you turn on the Microsoft phone system, it'll just start working. So that's a demo using Skype for Business, Outlook, and Teams, the desktop apps and the mobile apps, how you integrate with those. What I would say right now is using Skype for Business is the way to go. Uh, and so and so of the 400 users that we've moved over into the Microsoft phone system, about, if I could flip back to this slide, about 300 of those users out of 400 have opted to go with the Skype for Business app with a headset. And about 100 of those users have opted to go with the Polycom desktop phone. So also the productivity case for the Microsoft phone system, you have one phone number. So I give people my, my direct Microsoft phone number and then it just simultaneously rings my cell phone. Uh, but in that case, then I only have to give people one phone number and they can reach me either way. And, I, and if I wish to, I can keep my personal cell phone number private. And the biggest thing is that the phone system works the same, whether your team or parts of your team are in the office, out of the office, working from home, over to client site, remote, uh, you know, in the field. But for example, at Zerillion, when somebody calls into our office, the auto attendant announces they've reached Zerillion and then transfers them right now. Um, and, and six people get rang at the same time. Well, we've had days where all those people are working from home and we've had days where half the people are working from home and all of them get rang, rang exactly the same way. So you can look in the Skype for Business app, you can see who's online, who's not, and the system can ring people based on who's online or who's offline. And it's incredible. It's incredible to be able to give people that flexibility and provide a professional system that works exactly the same, completely integrated with the Microsoft Office 365 system. And also to give people that work from home flexibility, it's, it's a big morale booster for the team. You know, what we tell people as long as, you know, you're available, we can see you in Skype uh, and you're getting your work done, it doesn't matter to us where you're at. So what you get with the Microsoft phone system, you get a direct dial number. If you're using the extension now, you will now get a direct number. If you're currently using a direct dial number, you will be able to bring those phone numbers over. You'll get an auto attendant if you want, so it can announce the company and then put people into a call tree, press one for service, two for sales, and then we can create call queues where you know a bunch of people get rang at the same time, or maybe a sequence, you know, one person gets rang, if they don't pick up, then another person gets rang, that's a call queue. We can set up call forwarding or simultaneous ring so that you have one phone, phone number to, that people can use and it can ring your main phone number and your cell phone at the same time. You can even have it set like I do that the system rings my cell phone during business hours and outside of business hours it goes to voicemail and drops that, that transcribed voicemail into my mailbox that I can look at. You get music on hold, voicemail to email transcription which is really great. So as I just mentioned uh, you know, a minute ago that the voicemail comes in, it gets dropped in your mailbox, and if it can understand, it'll transcribe that to text and put that email in the mailbox. And I've absolutely taken those before and replied to a voicemail as an email, and it just keeps moving business along. It's great. You get whole call and transfer capabilities. So one of the questions will come up from time to time, can I park a call? It's on the roadmap for 2018, but they don't have it yet. So what happens is when somebody calls in, if they want to talk to me, uh, the person who took the call is really will put them on hold. They will ring me and say, you know, so-and-so called, do you want to talk to them? And I say yes, then they transfer the call over. And that's the way it works right now. But you will be able to park calls eventually. Porting your numbers, it often gets asked, can I bring my phone numbers over? Absolutely. Your direct dial numbers, your main phone number, your 800 number, those will all be brought over. Uh, what happens is when we get the phone system set up and when we're ready to go, we send a port order request over to Microsoft. It's a special team. And usually they schedule that three to four weeks out. And they only do it during business hours. So we usually schedule 12 o'clock. You know, at lunchtime, we move the numbers over. So the world starts ringing you through the Microsoft phone system on your, on your, on your main phone numbers, your direct dial numbers. Um, and we really very, have very few problems with that. The team does a really nice job at Microsoft. Uh, the Microsoft phone system does not do faxing. They don't have any plans to do faxing with it. So you would continue to use your current faxing system, um, or we would set you up with something like eFax. Conference rooms. What we would do with a conference room, you can either set up a traditional Polycom VVX 400 phone and put that on your desktop, uh, or you could use your computers or smartphones or tablets and connect them by Bluetooth or USB to a Jabra Speak 
and put that right in the center of your conference room and they sound fantastic. Uh, if you want to have a general purpose conference room phone, you just set this up in the middle of the desk. There is a subscription that you can purchase called a common area phone. It just has a way to connect into the Microsoft phone system to make and receive calls, but it's, but it's a general purpose phone. For reception areas, public areas, front doors, you can either use a physical phone, again, a Polycom BVX 400, or you can use Hello Door. Those start at $800, depending on whether you want an internal one or an external one. But, you know, somebody can walk up and just hit the button and they can ring somebody inside the office and they can buzz them in or not. And again, you would use a common area phone subscription for something like that. The OLED paging system, uh, we would use a Polycom phone with an RG9 audio cable and then we would connect that up to your amplifier for your overhead paging system. And we would use a common phone subscription for that as well. Um, paging through the phone system speaker is not supported. So some people out there have phone systems where there's a speaker right under this handset and they can hit a button and it uses that speaker to, to um, do paging across the company. That is not supported in the Microsoft phone system. You have to have an overhead paging system to do that. So then SMS texting integration, sometimes it gets asked, well, can we send text messages through the Microsoft phone system? You can, there's a company called Chatterbox and it's a third party add-on, it's $5 per user per month. The pricing on the Microsoft phone system it is in the enterprise versions of Office 365 or Microsoft 365. So in our Microsoft Cloud practice, we, we really just do Microsoft 365 Enterprise, E3 and E5, but I can take you through the pricing on this. Office 365 E1, it's $20 per user per month for an add-on. Microsoft 365 or Office 365 E3, it's a $20 per user add-on. Microsoft 365 or Office 365 E5, it's a $12 per, per user add-on. And then a common area phone subscription is $20 by itself. And again, the taxes are included in the flat fee and then paid by Microsoft. So you might be wondering, can Cerulean help you with this? Absolutely. This is not something I would take on by yourself and just try to, to wing it. Um, if you've done phone systems before and you're pretty comfortable with Skype for Business, pretty comfortable with Polycom phones and some of these other things, I think it's doable, um, but cutovers and phones and phones being down and not working, we can save you a lot of time, money, mistakes, and security issues. We're a gold tier one Microsoft cloud provider, and we can also determine if the Microsoft phone system is not a fit for you. There are cases where it's not, uh, and we can talk to you about that as well. So if you'd like to have an initial call with us, just to talk about it, see if it makes sense for you, you can email us at support at .com or call us 847-995-9800 or go to our website and fill out the form, and then you would schedule a call with our sales team and we would go from there. So a few things I'll leave you with with the Microsoft phone system. It works extremely well. I love it, and it amazes me how good the quality of the sound is so often. Um, so you get HD voice quality, it's reliable, it's low cost, super flexible, you're not locked into a contract, and you get a modern voice system for your company. And again, for disaster recovery purposes, you have complete voice system continuity with a system like this as well. I did a fairly lengthy write-up on our website, and you can learn more by going to our website. You go to zerillion.com, drop down services, and then go to the Microsoft Office 365 Cloud PBX phone system. And I could take you through our journey on different phone systems over the years since we've been in business since 2002, and we've had quite a few of them. So anyway, learn a little bit more and then go from there. And if you're ready to talk, Go ahead and give us a call or contact us through our website or support it, and we'll go ahead and get a call set up with you. Thanks for watching the video.